a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love straight-to-video-on-demand Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise to the point of adoration straight-to-video-on-demand Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I... 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 And this... Is the Deck the Hallmark Podcast! podcast. Remember this date, kids, because if you're wherever you're listening, remember where you were, because we're about to change your life today. We're about to change your life That's and right. introduce you to a minted classic. Oh my goodness, I'm excited about today, Brian. Very excited. Christmas in Carolina. Now, quick backstory. I um way, way back in July, if you can imagine. Oh, it feels the like time, years ago. Um, I was going through I was on the Roku app because yep. I have a Roku at home and I was using the app to control uh, my TV. And uh, within the app, you can see what movies Roku has available on demand. And a, uh, a, a movie poster caught my eye. I was like, is that? This is a, it's a great movie poster. Is this who I think it is? So I click on the movie, and it's Christmas in Carolina. And right there, front and center. Darius McCrary, Kelly Shanee Williams, Laura and Eddie Winslow from Family Matters. Yes. From the show, the brother and sister duo from Family Matters adorned the cover of this poster. Yes, yeah, so I screenshot it. I send it to Alonzo and Dan, and I <laughs> said, guys, is this Family Matters? What are we doing here? Alonzo said, I'd never seen Family Matters. And we and were so like, how then, dare you? So then whatever. I waited. <laughs> What's new, pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> so then I waited for Dan's response. Dan was as excited as I was, and here we are today. I thought and, it was a love story between the two. Oh, of them. oh yes, but it, as you would yes. if you looked at the post. Yes, I'm just saying. <laughs> the fair. You yeah, know how the uh, two leading siblings are always front and center that's of right. these movies. <laughs> um, and I thought, man, what a day this is to find out this movie exists. Surely, there's not a day that's going to beat this day. And then the day came to watch the oh, movie, baby. and and now it and and that's today. Guys, I'm, I'm just telling you, go ahead and start planning. It's September right now. Plan your watch party for this movie. <laughs> Do it. Get the, the needed beverages and accoutrement and get, just get ready because it is an absolute treat. And I want a major unpacking of all the Carolina ness of this movie since you guys live oh, there. Oh, yeah. And all oh, so experts. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We'll get there. I promise. But it is, without the credit, 71 ish minutes of pure, unadulterated joy. And I'm, I'm excited about this whole day. I, I really am. But brand synopsis, I'm excited about maybe most of all. Um, because if it is longer than, I don't know, six sentences. The film. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> uh, well, let's get to it then, I'd shall love, we? Let's do it. Um, oh, Christmas in Carolina uh, went straight to VOD on November 1st, 2020. And it went a little something. 2020. Like this. Elle is a hotshot deal maker doing stuff. <laughs> she's going on a date. Uh, she's and she's really been doing this for a while. She's going date after date. Uh, at one point, I believe we hear she's been on 15 dates in the last month. Oh, that's correct. Yes. And tonight, she's meeting up with a guy named Wesley. Wesley is late to the date. To make up for that fact, he stopped by a store and bought a single rose. She's like, I like tulips. He's like, sorry. Wesley seems like a hotshot deal maker himself, but he's not work obsessed like Ellis. Elle opens up about how um, how she's not a fan of Christmas, and Wesley's like, "Oh, you're missing out because Christmas is big with my family, uh, you know, Christmas and, kid and stuff and Carolina." And so she keeps like taking calls during this date, and Wesley's like, "Woof, what is going on with this girl?" Wesley is talking, and she's like, "Hey, I gotta go. I got a big work thing." This date lasts all of three minutes. She goes on her way. Apparently, both of them enjoyed that awful date so much that they're talking to their friends uh, about it. Well, he's talking to his brother. She's talking to her cousin. And they're talking about how much they loved this date and how they want to go on another date. 
and I can't make heads or tails of that situation. <laughs> uh, Wesley's out to lunch with his mom, who's in town, and uh, Elle sees him, and she thinks he's on another date. I got to go confront this guy, because the first date was so good. So she goes, and he's like, oh, this is my mom. And she's like, whoa, this is crazy. And they end up making plans for a second date. They go on that date, and I guess it was awesome because he's like, "Hey, do you want to come to? Do you want to sp- do Christmas in Carolina?" That's the title. With me, and she's like, "Absolutely, I do want to do that." Uh, we catch wind now that he's in Carolina that uh, Wesley is thinking about proposing to this girl that he's been on a date and a quarter with and um so they're in they show up in carolina the family loves l but his brother is like i think i know this girl i don't know but i think i do and wes is like whatever man like just it's not a big deal so wesley goes he buys an engagement ring and then his brother confronts him and is like i went on a double date with her once and she was a mean and rude Wesley starts yelling at him like, dude, just relax. And he's like, you're still in love with the last girl. Elle feels uncomfortable about this whole situation, and so she leaves. And they all go to church. They all go to church, of course. Uh, later, they talk, and Elle is like, listen, maybe we are not right for each other. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to leave. You can spend Christmas with your family. And she's getting ready to head to the airport. And my guy, Wesley, walks in. And I want to paint this picture. Wesley walks in, red suit, white turtleneck, and is crushing it from head to toe. He goes. He proposes to her. She says yes. Then her family shows up. (laughs) It is at this point in time (laughs) that the brother sees Elle's sister and goes, That's the girl I went on the date with. And it almost at this point feels like it was all a punchline, like all set up for that punchline. I don't know. The family spends Christmas in Carolina together. And that, my friends, was Christmas Christmas in Carolina. Carolina. Oh, boy, we did it. If that sounded like it just was just kind of fragments of someone's memory, it wasn't. He was paying attention the whole movie, I promise you. We did it, everybody. We did do it. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll break this movie down with four segments here on Deck the Hallmark. I was talking to my buddy Scott, who's a listener of this program, and he says it's so funny, you know, listening to Deck the Hallmark each day of the week because as the week goes on the episodes get more ludicrous progressively more and ludicrous. it's like and no nothing is more true than the fact that we went to our first break and it was only seven minutes into the show that's right but also th- th- nothing will be more ludicrous than them this that's movie. true hold my eggnog that's, that's exactly right. right yes uh let's talk about christmas in carolina the straight to vod hit of 2020 <laughs> and i'm going to start with you alonzo alonzo had you seen this movie before uh, what are your thoughts on this movie? I, give I us your wait, hot take. <laughs> give us your hot take. I, I had not seen this movie before, <laughs> and I'm wishing that I was still living that part of my life. Uh, this movie is dire. <laughs> I mean, it, you you just can't believe you're watching what you're watching, and it's like I get it. Okay, low. It's a low budget film, but like. It's one thing when you you know you 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 can't manage the continuity of like you know the stuff that's in a room or something because you had to leave and come back and reshoot or whatever, but like lines of dialogue in this script directly contradict each other. That's like right. The stuff that doesn't cost anything, i.e., the writing, makes no sense whatsoever. This seems like a series of improv exercises by people who've never done improv yeah. before because like none of the the, the 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 there's no like dynamic anything going on uh it, we we find out once that it's actually south carolina that that that's a bit of detail we get in the dialogue but where in south carolina no clue we got the to Palmetto the bottom State of that we got to the bottom of that answer oh good no no okay, I'll, t- I'll tell you later we did get to the bottom of that answer i do want to know yeah um 
Yeah, the, you would think that padding is reserved for, you know, longer movies, the ones that need to <laughs> get to like 90, 100 minutes. No, no, this one's like 70 minutes and half of it is just like wordless montages Silence. of people opening presents. It, uh, 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 that's, that's my hot take. <laughs> this is um, one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And I, I'll say this, I saw this movie... And I was like, whoa, Eddie and Laura Winslow. Like, yes. How did I not know about this movie? I started doing some research, and I'm like, man, how did this not get picked up by a network? <laughs> to, make, 2020, <laughs> to make a Christmas and, movie and in 2020 and not yeah. a single network <laughs> picked it up. I was like, man, how did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, and now I, now I understand <laughs> because this is, one, hardly a movie, and two, <laughs> it is uh, the – the worst mixed movie I've ever mm. heard oh my in my life. Yes. In my life. It is it is worse than uh, what high schoolers can come That's up right. with their iPhones. Like, it's a whole, like, the, the, the mix is atrocious. The acting is insane. And I could not have had more fun <laughs> watching this movie. It was a blast. An absolute blast, and if it is I had been insane on the couch to me. With you guys, I think I would have oh, had a much better time. Oh, we were crying, laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness! It is uh, to Alonzo's point. The amount of uh, time that is spent in this movie with uh, not a word said is truly amazing. It's truly amazing. <laughs> the amount of time someone looks at the camera is truly <laughs> amazing. The amount of uh, Air conditionings we hear is truly ama- <laughs> everything about this movie is truly amazing. I could not have had more fun. So, uh, uh, best movie of the year. There is there <laughs> is no competition in regards to this movie. It is unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> if you are a fan, like someone did, like I am convinced, Kelly Shani Williams, Darius McCrary did this as a favor out of the goodness of their heart. There is no way they got paid a dime for this movie. It is like someone took a single act high school play written and directed by a high schooler for the stage and stretched it mercilessly to 70 minutes. And I don't know how else to describe that, but let me tell you right now, laughs per minute, it's it's untouched. If you like have a party to watch The Room every year and you watch Christmas TV movies, you have to get yourself beverages. You have to watch this movie. And don't worry if you're like, what do we do for a... Your boy Dan has you covered for a drinking game, and I'm just going to run through it real quick if that's okay with you, Brant. Oh, uh, take a drink if you hear a fan or air conditioning unit <laughs> in the background of any scene. Take a drink every time a character's forehead is chopped off at the top of the screen. Take a drink every time you have to turn your TV up to hear the dialogue. And then turn and it down. Take another drink yes. when you have to turn it back down in the next scene. Or the same scene. Or the same scene. Yeah, absolutely. Finish your drink every time an actor looks right into the lens of the camera. Finish your drink every time a camera has to refocus a shot mid-scene. And finish your drink every time the movie transitions with fireworks. (laughs) Uh, and, and, And lastly, don't drink anything all night if you see a boom mic, because I promise you will not see one anywhere. Uh, This movie is fantastically awful. It cannot be described with mere words. I can't wait to do this again at a party. It is just guys. You we can't we make have it found up. the made-for-TV movie that Dan will rewatch. You can't make we it. We found up. it. We did I, it. We, I was crying. We've been I was doing this for three so years. And he was always like, "It's not for me. I like it. I wouldn't watch it again." All of these things have been said. No. This is the one. I swear to you, I miss things. This is you can mine this stuff for gold for the, years the to fa- come. The, the fade-outs are also pretty. Oh impressive. Oh my god! Take a drink every time it fades to fades to black. They cut the sound off, but it, so it's just dead <laughs> silence as they oh. transition. I, I always say movies like this make you appreciate all the things you take for granted yes. in a marginally That's competent right. movie. Like when they so like 
<laughs> but they stop <laughs> talking and the music plays at, the, at a little bit of higher <laughs> level. Where yes. in this movie, they stop talking and the music stays low. And you're just like, what is, what's happening right now? Like, I, I think, Dan, this is going to absolutely affect the way you look at Hallmark. Movies, yes. Just in terms of the worst ones have this oh like, my goodness. base layer of sort of technical sheen that is completely missing. From this movie is miles underground of the base level. Like, whatever the base <laughs> level is, this movie's on the way to the core of the earth. Like, it is just, wow. and it is better for it. It is an absolute riot. I it just... The acting in this movie, like, just make, like, I can't not look. The brother of the lead, oh, every man. time he's on screen, I just started laughing. Like, I just, I couldn't, he, he just, he, he's decided he is character eye roll. That's what he is. He just eye rolls all movie long. It's wonderful. Everybody's waiting. No one talks unless it's their line. Like, everyone's oh, yeah. completely quiet, line, quiet. It is just Everything, every choice you could make, they make the wrong one, and it's phenomenal. I just couldn't, I, I just, I can't wait to give it another watch. I can't wait. And again, guys, 2020 <laughs> pandemic. That's right. People there are wasn't starving a single for content. Channel. Pixel. Passed. <laughs> to be. <laughs> no, thank you. They, Not on our watch. They passed on it. <laughs> Pluto oh. was like, nah, son. Mm. No, no, no. No. Fandor. No. Can't 2020, do it. and they even had like beloved sitcom. Yeah, that's right. Like, nope. Pass, that, Pasadena. Darius McCrary and uh, Kelly Shanae Williams are in this movie, and I'm pretty sure all of their scenes, aside from a scene in a church, are in the same house. I just yes. want to know how many days they worked on it, and I want to know over under a 30 page script for this movie, Alonzo. <laughs> over under. <laughs> a movie's 100 normally. Over under 30, I think, is the over under. Yeah, I mean, usually a page of script equals one minute of screen time. But obviously, <laughs> that's a page of script that has words on it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Dialogue. Like we, we get to the end of this movie, and we don't. We never know what Elle does for no. a living. Well, we've got. There's. So, we don't know what she does. We don't know. There is a character, and I'll save it for the way what or the what the whole the whole movie. There's a character they reference is coming all movie long that n never shows up. <laughs> And I, all during lunch, was like, Dr. John's coming. He's coming. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not he's coming. The, he's, he's the Godot of this yeah, that's movie. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. Now you're on the right wavelength. This is sheer art. Doc, it was going to be called Waiting for Dr. John. They didn't want to be too yes. on the nose. <laughs> this Dr. John is just uh, like, uh, we never see him, but they talk yeah. about him all movie. It's phenomenal. It just, oh, you have, God. please just go and watch this movie, guys. It's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Giving it away. As of recording, this is on the oh. Roku app. Oh, so, my goodness. Uh, but, you know, whether or not they hang on to it, who knows? We'll <laughs> who knows? See. But it is a little, you can buy it if you want to on, like... You can pay money for yeah, it. Yeah, like on Apple. You I think it's, if, it, if you get to own it for forever, it's worth it. If there's a physical... <laughs> if there's physical media of this movie, oh, you yeah. must... For, for the library. Yes. <laughs> the deleted scenes. Dude, oh, <laughs> I, what didn't make it? What I, could have possibly have not made it? Unless a camera fell over, I can't imagine anything <laughs> got deleted from this film. There is a scene where I think a camera might be falling over. <laughs> well, there is a scene where it's B-roll of Darius McCrary looking and laughing around, and then he looks at the director to see if they've got <laughs> it. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll keep, keep going. going. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's oh, the most oh. I've laughed all year, and I needed yeah. it. Um, <laughs> let, let's go. Let's go to all the feels part. Should we talk about what this movie gave us feels? Alonzo. The only feels I had was a very southern. Bless their hearts. Yes. Yeah, the people who <laughs> yes. made this movie. Yes. Because you know, like yeah. they, 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 they had all best intentions, and they, <laughs> you know, put some kind of effort into it, but. <laughs> Holy macanoli, what they wound <laughs> up with. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, man. I, I, I don't really have a ton of uh, real feels. I got a lot of laughter feels. <laughs> um, I will say my only feels is... Dr. John, I just can't, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about it. Is, Where is he? Where? Is Eddie Winslow at one point, There's a there, <laughs> you hear a, a bang in the background. And yeah. I, I don't. There's a crash of sorts. A, a camera uh, falling. Somebody or made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. There's a crash yeah. in the background, <laughs> and he finishes his line, and then he looks over. He just goes, 
Hey, <laughs> back down, back there. <laughs> and that's in the movie. <laughs> and it was awesome. And I, I, it, I just loved it. It gave, it gave me just. Oh man! I just loved that he rolled with it. Do we think there was a second take of anything in this film? No way. <laughs> no they, way. No. Every second of B-roll that they shot, they <laughs> used. To, uh, sometimes multiple times. Yeah. Um, there's a hug that they used twice in the movie, mm. for sure. There's a shirt with a spill on it they used twice in the movie. <laughs> they are they are strapped for cash. Um, oh, yeah. No, there's an intern on separate days who's always wearing the same shirt, yeah, even yeah, though yeah, like, yeah, time yeah. has passed. There's a restaurant they use multiple times. Oh, yeah. They, uh, of course, not any real feels, but the, the laughter feels are fast and furious. And, and mm. I, I, can't, I can't even begin to tell you what you're missing out on if bad cinema is your thing. I, I just... I can't, I can't, it, it I, nothing I else, to, go ahead. I have to reevaluate Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas. That's right. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I've not seen that movie, but nothing. This is a titan in the bad Christmas movie industry. It mm. stands alone. It reigns supreme. It does not have any, ma I've not seen Saving Christmas, but I can't imagine it being at this level, Alonzo. I mean, there are moments, but I mean, like, the isn't saving Sa is saving Christmas a documentary? Uh, it's a lot of things. I'll have to walk <laughs> you through it at some point, but uh, you know, like Santa Claus conquers the Martians has got their their game together tighter. Yes. Than this movie well, does. and I will say I do have feels. Actually, it was before I watched the movie. Alonzo texted us, and he said, <laughs> and I quote, "This movie is an ordeal." <laughs> True story. <laughs> and that is we as accurate a depiction as I've ever heard. Dan and I movie. Dan and I sat down to watch this movie and I looked at him and I was like, what do Alonzo mean? This movie's an ordeal. And then about ten minutes of this movie, and I was like, this movie's uh, an ordeal. Yes. <laughs> Certainly it's an is. ordeal. Man. Uh let's take uh, one more break and we'll come back and we'll get to the wait what's uh which this segment might last longer than the movie. And uh and we'll uh we'll finish things up here on Deck the Hallmark. Welcome back, oh, everybody. Boy. We are talking about uh, Christmas in Carolina. Yeah. Um, the uh, VOD uh, darling. And uh, um, <laughs> very excited classic. to get to the, the wait what's here. Uh, Alonzo, I'll let you go first. Wait what? <laughs> oh. uh, everybody pack a lunch. We're going to be here for a while. Um, <laughs> First of all, okay, so I, 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 there was uh, oh, when we talked about the the infamous bobsled race. I talked there was a movie that I mentioned called After Last Season that has like incredibly bad computer effects. The other crazy thing about After Last Season is that all the dialogue is really weirdly vague, where people <laughs> say things like. I haven't been to that town, but I've driven through it. Um, so early on, when dude says, I, uh, I work for a team in the area, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what? Where are we? Like, I, don't, I uh, don't understand anything right now. <laughs> I've wrote, I wrote down all of the W's at some point. Like, where are we right now? What time is it right now? Who is this? Like, I wrote down all of them. Why? Yes, yes, none of them are answered. No. Um, the bartender, after she leaves their first awful date that apparently they both loved, yes. uh, the bartender says, well, you outlasted all the other ones. <laughs> Earlier, she mentioned that she'd had dinner with a guy and she wound up getting stuck having to pay for his meal. Yeah. So that date lasted longer than a dinner did? I, like, did they just, you know... I think, I, he, I, I think the bartender is a little existential. He was talking about how long it felt. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that, that opening scene feels like it's an hour and a half. It feels <laughs> like it's never going to end. And by well, that measure, yes. Yeah, because there's, there's a whole long... There's like a forget compression of time through editing there's like a real-time car ride between yes. her office and the bar where she's on the phone <laughs> with her cousin talking about the fact that she's about to go on a date as though we were not clear on what was happening next in the movie uh so yeah by that by that measure it did last forever uh we are told multiple times that the mother is really stressed about all the relatives <laughs> who are coming home for christmas so naturally he flies her up to the area for lunch <laughs> 
<laughs> for no good reason at all because she's got nothing else on her calendar. I'm pretty sure um, also that area is Delaware. Yeah, I Ma- think no, they Maryland. say Maryland. 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 That's yeah. it. Maryland. That's, and these yeah. are the clues. Well, I thought on. for sure it was the big city. And I thought, you know, you can come up here, you can go to the big city and like, you know, shop and stuff. It's it's Maryland. Maryland? <laughs> The big city, it's see Maryland. beautiful Silver Spring, you know, crab cakes, man. Let's uh, go for sure. Okay, this this is one of those things. Like I, I, I have the greatest love of low budget movies, and I understand like the you know the the creativity and the the, the way you have to sort of like make things work. But then there's other stuff that there's just no excuse for. L and the cousin go to the restaurant where dude is having lunch with his mother. They both order the <laughs> lunch special yeah. because neither of them looks at the yep. menu. And they get two different <laughs> entrees. Yeah, I wrote that down as well. I, I laughed at the fact that See, they ordered the lunch special without being told what it was. No. <laughs> and that they got two Maybe they walked meals. by a chalkboard. So I don't the know, server, two, what the, totally different the server does is he eyeballs the height and weight of everybody <laughs> in there. <laughs> and he goes back to the kitchen and he's like, I got a 5 2 one thirty, <laughs> and a 5 6 one forty specials. Go get them. And then the chef takes it from there. Uh, it's all above board. It's all above board. Everything no problem. Early in the film, the brother tells dude that, hey, mom is starting a game night this year. <laughs> Later, dude tells L, every year my mom hosts a game night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, we missed that. We missed that. There it's are things Schro- we missed. It's Schrodinger's game night. It both <laughs> exists and doesn't exist at the same time. Yes. Dude, I missed it. I have See, to watch it. We gotta watch it again. Dude, every uh, year. Put it on the calendar. This Christmas, let's can we do a paid uh watch along? I would I oh. would love I think we who's should paying who? <laughs> we should watch this with the double deckers. Dude, I would oh. in a heartbeat watch this with okay. the double deckers. Yeah. It is just the best worst thing uh, every year. All right. So they get to Carolina, and <laughs> they have the game night, which is, of course, a wordless montage, yep. because why wouldn't it be? And then after the game night, Elle introduces herself to the brother. I'm like, did y'all not meet during game night when everybody was playing, yeah. like, charades yep. or whatever yep. the heck was going on? That's a That was an odd oh. thing. <laughs> Then later in the film, after she she wants to leave because she, the, she finds out the dude had an ex-girlfriend that he's still thinking about, whatever, um, they all go looking for her. And they're all like, where is she? Does she leave? <laughs> she just gets it's never established that she left. Yes. Like, she was in that. It's like, d- spoiler, you were in the house the whole time. The calls are coming from inside the house. My man is out looking for her and getting dressed up in a red suit with white mm. t- at the same time, it's a both and is what he's doing. Yeah, like he's thinking, I got a best man holiday this thing fast. <laughs> you know, that's that, that outfit is the highlight of the film, no question. Oh, my so goodness. So that, that's, that's what I got. I'm I, sure you all have I had more. this realization <laughs> that, like, you and I doing this is a blast. But for me, the highlight is listening to a credentialed professional film <laughs> critic. It would be like listening to, like, a NBA basketball coach, like, dissect, like, the four-year-olds on the six-foot goal, <laughs> and it's fantastic. Oh my goodness, <sighs> it's fantastic. Um, they are uh, <laughs> they are on a date in Maryland. Yeah, and th- their date is at a bar, and at this bar is a documentary. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> about a high school <laughs> basketball coach <laughs> that happens to be Wesley's mentor. <laughs> <laughs> College maybe, but still have pushing you, it. Have you, and he just starts, he just out of the box, he's like, have you seen this? Have you, have you seen this documentary? Have you seen it? Oh well, it's uh, it's uh, Cl- C- Carl Staffings. And you want to know what my mentor? Uh, you want to know what else is great bar. about that? <laughs> we don't hear any more of it. We don't get yeah. anything it out of it. Comes up none. Again. It does not. None. I thought for sure this was going to keep coming back because he calls his mom and the the, the documentary is on in the background when he's talking to his mom. But no, there's no more mention of it. <laughs> I know we are in this 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 bar in Maryland, 
But have you seen this documentary featuring my high school <laughs> basketball coach, which also <laughs> happens to be my mentor? <laughs> Does not matter. <laughs> oh. Um, she's taught after the date, she's talking to her cousin. Her cousin, oh, from man. what I gather, works with Wesley. Did anyone else gather that? We no, no, no. Blythe works with, Blythe is Wesley's cousin and works with her. No. No, no. Blythe, Blythe, is, Blythe Elle's is Elle's cousin. cousin. And Wesley is the dude. Yes. But Blythe is Elle's cousin. But Blythe and says she we're both works from South Carolina about huh? Wesley. How does she know Wesley? She works with Wesley. Uh, but why is she in Elle's office then? Because she's hanging out. They're getting together. She's a nudge. She's, she's, she's there. She's the she, Greek chorus she, of the She's movie. the one that introduces them in the first place because yeah, she works with Yeah, I them. thought that, that Blythe was Wesley's cousin but worked with Elle. That's what I thought. No, no. The, the opposite. Opposite is true. Well, opposite of what yeah, you think is it. true. Flip it, reverse it. Reverse it. Strike yeah. it. Um, <laughs> so they're talking about the date, and uh, she Blythe is talking about Wesley and says something, and then she's like, well, you know Wesley. And no, she doesn't, she doesn't know, know Wesley. Wesley. <laughs> Not she even a little bit. knows nothing about Wesley aside from the fact that the guy on TV <laughs> is his mentor. <laughs> is his mentor. Man, I can't believe I can't remember that guy's name. He says the name, and it's <laughs> this most ridiculous name in the world. Also, maybe I just got this wrong, but he, when he's talking to her about working for a team in the area, it sounded like that he's a manager of a team. And then when they cut to his office, he just says, no, he has a professional he, athletes. He has a he has a sports management agency. I'm yeah. like, okay, well, those are two different things, but I'll just assume that I misheard that then. Um, speaking of not knowing him, they go on their next date, um, which is, you know, a nice dinner. Um, and there's a saxophone player there. <laughs> and as they're walking, as they're walking out, she says, oh, this is great. She says, I didn't know that, you know, the saxophonist. And he says, oh yeah, I, I like, he's one of my best friends of what of, of, of the things you would know about this guy that you spent a date and a quarter with knowing the saxophonist would oh not be goodness. on that list of things that you would know um she hasn't seen a snow globe in a long time i thought that was just an interesting piece of information to throw in there um i, I couldn't get over this that they did multiple times in this movie um on on the TV in the the Winslow's house, um, they have a Yule log on the TV. Yeah, this is great. Do. That TV is sitting on the mantle of of an electric <laughs> fireplace. Is that fireplace on? No. no. Put it on the TV. <laughs> South Carolina man, it gets hot. I don't know what to tell you. The great thing about electric fireplaces, though. Is you could turn 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 turn, turn down the heat. Turn down the heat. Exactly right. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and speaking of the heat, guys, uh, there, uh, this movie's usage of fade to black transitions is unlike anything oh, I've ever seen. God. Oh my goodness! And they decide uh, towards the end of this movie to spice it up a little bit with a transition that is fireworks. <laughs> It is my. <laughs> they have the my whole movie. The transition has been. Of it's, the year. it's been fade to black, fade <laughs> to black, fade to black, and in this one moment, for reasons unknown, after the church service, they say throw in the fireworks. The fireworks is only like two seconds. No, it's not a it's firework show. It's just we so don't know where they come from. It it's is just they stop talking, fade to black, pow pow. <laughs> Next scene. That's how quick it is. It is. They they said let's let's throw. It's let's my my favorite three seconds of cinema <laughs> this year. Spice I just up. can't I can't get over it. I was watching and I was mesmerized that they went with fireworks. It there. was amazing. Uh, those are my weight ones. Oh my gosh, there's mm. just so many things in this movie that we could go for. But let's start with the South Carolina of it all. Um, Please. They use uh, they go to church and they use a real church service. Uh, and they show you the sign of the actual church, which is in Marion, South Carolina, which is kind of sort of after you leave Florence on the way to Myrtle Beach, for those of you that care. And it's and then they say later, as cold as it gets in South Carolina, which not true anywhere, but in Marion, South Carolina, which I've been to, I promise you it's not true in Marion, <laughs> South Carolina. They show a close-up of a South Carolina state flag, which is not 
an actual South Carolina State flag. <laughs> they have tried their best to sew on a palmetto flag <laughs> to a blue flag. The, they the did, only thing I can I, I, re, the only thing I can uh, like relate this to is you guys <laughs> you guys remember clip art? <laughs> like it is like a clip art version of a South Carolina flag, That's right. but in real life. They've it's the only <laughs> yes, you can see this. The palmetto tree is way too small, and they've stitched it on there or and copied the, and pasted it. The over. moon is oh. like a cartoon. The moon isn't right. It's so odd. And if you're not from South Carolina, you're like this doesn't matter. But just imagine like the the American flag, but like all the stars aren't correctly turned the right way. <laughs> the colors don't look like that is what's going on in this photo. And they decide to show a close up of it and it's beyond me why they would do that of all times to be specific about a location which all movie long they've been like oh yeah in town and the big business um <laughs> l our lead she doesn't it take like 40 minutes to get there more than that yeah, yeah. yeah they don't all get to <laughs> christmas in carolina until the movie is over halfway over oh yeah. i you know um the You're lead in the movie it, you know. says <laughs> that she's so busy she doesn't have time to date and she says this literally 60 seconds after the bartender tells her it's her 15th date this month. She's been on 15 dates, but she's too busy to date. Does she run a dating service? <laughs> we, we don't know what she does. My favorite <clears throat> back and forth in this movie, though, without a question, is her and her cousin are talking on her couch in her living room and it's nighttime, and she is telling her that she just doesn't want to deal with this right now. She's in her pajamas, and she's like, blah, 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 I'm going to bed. And that dialogue is interspersed with Wesley and his brother at work talking about women, and you, should, you can't <laughs> trust a rude and mean woman. And these conversations <laughs> just go back and forth. It's like the boys are talking, the girls are talking. The problem is, is that one of them is taking place in the middle of the daytime, <laughs> and the other one is taking place at night, and they're supposed to be taking place in the same city at the same time. <laughs> it's fantastic. It, it ju it's just fantastic. I'm, Don't be so provincial, Dan. Yeah, You're jumping I'm, time and yeah, space here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the bartender from the first scene is also the waiter <clears throat> from the scene where she goes to eat lunch with her cousin. <laughs> It's the oh. same guy. Sally. He I didn't is, catch that. He's picking oh. up double shifts, man. He's Damn. got in this economy, he's got to make ends meet. It's the same guy. They try to keep oh, his man. face off camera. Same dude <laughs> in both instances. Hey, how old does Darius McCrary think he should be in this movie? Uh, because <laughs> he is playing like the sage old uncle, but he's like, you know. 44 years old in real life and it just it is one of the more mind-boggling performances by one of the two actual actors hey! in this movie he, he, you guys he, piped down back there he talks like he has lived a life <laughs> and his memory is starting to go and he just has been tasked with working on the christmas lights all movie to get him out of his of her hair and he's like oh gotta work on the christmas lights I, it is one of the more baffling performances I've ever seen. Like he's a forty-four. He's a. He's almost a millennial. I think he's just into <laughs> Gen X. Like he just made Gen X by three years, and he's playing what amounts to be the grandfather in this movie, and it is absurd. I don't. I never can quite get past it, but I loved every second of it for sure. Um, go ahead. No, I, I just thought of another one, actually, which is the, the one scene we get at Wesley's office to show us how good he is as a boss and how well he understands business is a two-minute monologue about the importance of social media. <laughs> I, I am getting there, Alonzo. Oh, sorry. This sorry. guy talks about social media like your mom that watches Hallmark movies talks about social media. <laughs> he explains the importance of it in yeah. a manner that would would have maybe made sense 20 years ago. It, it is it's the the hot new. Oh, oh, it is hysterical. And then later you have we, to post. And then later you have to post. We get a sermon. Yep. About Facebook statuses, relationship oh, right. statuses. Which that pastor is the real pastor, real pastor. of that church in yes. South Carolina. Yeah, so that's a real sermon that they happened. I think they just showed life. up and said, hey, do you mind if we film your Sunday service? <laughs> and they did. <laughs> what do you got? That's the only B-roll they didn't use, which is, mm. which is just absolutely wild to me. Hey, is there a theater room in their house 
or did they go to the movies in their pajamas? Because there's a very <laughs> quick scene in here where there are stadium seating rows of leather seats, and they're eating popcorn, watching something, and they're all in their pajamas. And I, I just, I got, I, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. It doesn't make any sense, but it's in this movie. It happens in this movie. Um, and then, lastly, uh, all movie long. They are wearing shirts that just say Rock'em on it. A heart-shaped basketball with a crown There's a on heart-shaped it. basketball with a crown. And then the other side says Rock'em. I spent too and much time the thing. this. Here's the thing about this. You ready for, for crazy? I Googled Rock'em apparel, and it came up with two other brands, like a cowboy brand and something else. Mm. So then I Googled Rock'em shirt with heart, basketball, and crown on it. And it's Google said to me, this search doesn't seem to be showing many results. That's what it said to me. I'm not making that up. And I have I don't think I've ever been more confused. It was it was just something. Would have been a good what the home. And then it whoa, would you tell where was that yours? No, maybe um, I don't know. I got another one for what the hallmark. M- maybe they were gonna manufacture the shirts after the movie got picked <laughs> up. <laughs> it is just in there like there we go, a bunch of these shirts. It the is such an odd Super Bowl. thing for three char- three different characters that I noticed yes. to be wearing yeah. the same brand. Yeah. They are different shirts though. Like one of them is purple, another one is wearing, I think, a red, a red like it's a different shirt. I don't wild. know what it is. I don't need, I don't, I don't know. I want to like email email the crew and, and be la- like, guys. Lastly, this is not a wait what as much as it is. I just want to point out the one thing that I get to thumbs an actual thumbs up for me in this whole movie. For all that they do wrong, and boy is it a ton, they still do texting better than Hallmark in this movie. <laughs> there is a texting scene between he uh wesley and l and they show you it they show you the ellipses dots they show somebody putting a heart uh reaction to the text it is the easiest thing to do and hallmark can't figure it out and they literally did nothing right all movie long they just laid an egg for 75 minutes and they got the texting right somehow Although the writing of the text is also terrible. Oh, it's real bad. Our flight leaves. I can't that, yeah. wait to take you to my Christmas in Carolina. That, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real bad. But the actual <laughs> event of texting, they got right. Did You're you right. say the line that was said in the workout room? Oh, I didn't even get there. It's a, it's the, but I think it was your favorite line. He, I was done. He, yeah, he's, they're talking. He's like, are you going to miss the game tonight? Just to set this up though, Wesley oh, is in this, this. <laughs> Uh, Jim, his brother comes down there and he's like, I thought I'd find you. I knew I'd find you here. And he's in like a sweater vest and khakis. And he's like, are you ready for the big game tonight? And he's like, I'm taking L out on another date. And he goes, and he says it without any inflection. It's basically like the guy that says, boom goes the dynamite in that music video. He says, but it's the biggest rivalry game of the year. (laughs) In this town area. Yeah, that's right. The biggest (laughs) biggest rivalry game of the year. It's the biggest rivalry game of the year, (laughs) which... That leads to so many other <laughs> questions. Most rivalry games only play once a year, so it would be the biggest by just the effect that it was, unless it's baseball. Like, what are or you talking about? Or it's the Raiders about? who hates everybody. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's the biggest rivalry the biggest game of the year. Of the Come on, you know the kind. Oh, you know the things God. and the stuff. It's the Let's go watch game. the biggest rivalry game of the year. In the area. In the um, area, that's right. We, Man, wow. Classic. Yes. It's time for... Um, what the what, what the, the VOD? VOD? I don't know. <laughs> uh, who down, who down with VOD? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where we talk about any questions that we still have that we'd love some answers to, Alonzo. Uh, you know, I originally wrote down Ryan, the brother, needs therapy, but I, I think <laughs> maybe really everyone involved in this film needs, needs at, le- at least yes. a debriefing yeah. to explain how this happened, and I mean like cast, crew, the people at Roku who agreed to carry this, everybody. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, 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 this, this whole movie is a giant what the Roku because <laughs> none of it makes sense. None of it leads anywhere. And, and, and the, the, these to call them characters is like <laughs> imbuing them with a sense of self that does not exist yeah. anywhere in this movie. Oh my goodness. Um, <sighs> Yeah, I, I think my biggest, I mean, I have two. One is I'm genuinely curious about how much this movie cost. To yes. Create. 
Like genuinely care. It had to be in the tens of thousands of dollars, maybe. <laughs> Ten grand, you think? Twenty? I mean, I guess they I'm sure some equipment had to be rented, right? Yeah. It's so that's why I mean it, it can't be much. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe maybe. Well, or it was all shot on phones. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. I don't know if a, a microphone was used. I no. don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh no, no. <laughs> Um, but my biggest question, of course, goes back to the the, the mentor. I mean, just <laughs> I, I I I don't understand the point of introducing that. I it, it was so baffling to me. I thought for sure like he's going to show up at the house or something. No, he. The, what what if he's also Doctor John? <laughs> oh, look out, Doctor John, who they talk about all movie but never makes an appearance. Sneaky. Uh, they, they say at one point, uh, Eddie Winslow's like, "When's Doctor John showing up?" And she's like, "He's on his way." And and he's like, "He's like, all right, Dr. all right, Doctor John, let's go, Doctor John, yeah. on his way." That's it. That's it. He never. We never see him. He never comes. Mm. My, I had three. Doctor John was one of them. I'm glad oh, we yes. got that out of the way. There's a montage where they're walking around in the woods. In this movie, and that last a it lasts lifetime. way longer than it ever should. The brothers out there, like behind a bush, like sneaking pictures of them, which is oh weird. But in one instance, <laughs> Those things, why was the, nothing comes of that either? No. Why is he doing it? What? Hey, here's the best part. There's one very brief moment in this montage. Who are those pictures for? Because the other guy on the double date to Dr. verify John. the thing. Oh, yes, so and the coach. This is, there's a br very brief moment in that what seemed to be infinite montage where there's another couple with them. <laughs> Just very briefly, there's another couple walking in the woods with them. What is that about? Who's, who is it? What's going on? We never hear from them again. You know, but lastly, this is... The movie just keeps, it's a poker game of great scenes. And it, it does go all in at the very end for me because he swears that L is a no good, <laughs> rude, mean, <laughs> terrible woman. He's like, I know it. That's her. And at the end of the movie, this woman comes on screen and goes, I'm L's sister. And he goes, oh, that's her. This would be <laughs> fine if they looked anything like each other at all. Oh, thank you. There is uh, like at least eight inches difference in height. <laughs> There's a significant weight difference. These two people couldn't look more different. And he's like, oh, you two are the spitting image of each other. <laughs> and I just got to know in the script, were they thinking, look, we'll find two people to look Alike. Surely there's yeah. And then it's the day of filming and they're like, is this is this really it's the best we got? got. <laughs> Action. Like I But I, also like I don't wanna I mean, she is the worst at for like half this movie. She's, real she's bad. just not yeah, nice. She's terrible. This but movie is the tale of two women for yes. sure because <laughs> the, at one scene she is could not be less interested in having any personal conversation or relationship and then the next time she's like hey uh, uh, uh beatrice what's her cousin's name like uh, what yeah Blythe. yeah Blythe. what are we doing for christmas like the last scene you didn't want to do anything for christmas <laughs> i also want to unpack the fact that like the brother is like to the verge of psychosis about like you can't marry this woman she was rude and mean on a date once that's right one time <laughs> and then like, it turns out even, it was even, even yeah, it turns out it was a woman who looks nothing like her, but I got them confused somehow because I lack the abil ab uh, the capability to have facial recognition. I was too busy but memorizing <laughs> my lines. I'm sorry. <laughs> but even even if that had been L, like the fact that she was rude and mean on one date means you may not marry her. She will destroy your life. Like that is the you <laughs> would mm. think that he had seen her murder someone and she had gotten away with it. Yeah, like like that is the level of intensity she to which he was is mean, to her. Alonzo, and rude. And rude. rude. You can't be both. You can get rid of one or the other. Yeah, but not both. <laughs> I I want to be clear before we wrap up here. No movie in the history of David Hallmark gets a higher go watch it from Dan than this movie. Like you <laughs> you must you must experience Christmas in Carolina. You must. You can't go, you have to do it. Just do it for yourself, do it for everyone around you. 
you got to go experience this movie. It is one of a kind. I've, I've never, I've never seen anything like it. I, th- like I have, I have occasionally bottom fed on the the sort of generic samples that you can find on like Netflix or Hallmark movies now that are like kind of just cheap and dull and thrown together and and whatever else. This is this is a whole other level. Yes, it's one of a kind. It really does feel like a, a student film, and I loved every second of it. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, wow, so much fun. Um, Alonso, would you like to leave us with any words of wisdom um, to, to start our week with? Uh, they have been shaken out of me by this thing, <laughs> I think. But I, I would say support your local film school. Please do. Amen. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's going to help everybody in the long they run. they clearly need the help. Yep. Uh, that's just a guess. Give us all a favor. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to go to Marion, South Carolina and do a tour of where they filmed. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. <laughs> that house and that church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, everybody. So that, long this is where we found right. out that Jesus would have a Facebook. I don't know the point of the message, yeah. but this is where we found yeah, out about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that bar uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and That's restaurant. Bar. Yeah. Uh, we did, everybody. Congratulations. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.